Yeah. yeah. I'm just oh. How would you evaluate the win tonight? Oh, it's a great win. Um, you know, it's just hopefully uh, my two four men are uh, okay or not seriously injured. But um, you know, to win on a back-to-back, -back, a four-game road trip, that's not easy, especially against a team as good as that one. And uh, we'll really focus. I thought we did a good job executing the scout. So very, very happy with the win. You, on average, have a couple of years on the Mystics. Do you rely on that on the back-to-back? -back? You know, kind of using a little bit more knowledge and then the speed, or how do you how do you go into it? Well, look, hey, we just go into scouting it like we do any other game. Um, you know, we did our preparation before the game. I thought, uh, you know, we knew Deladon and, and, and Christian are the main ones, and, you know, they're both great players. Can't keep them both down. We did a good job on, on Tolliver, but, you know, I think everyone, you know, have, uh, Yvonne Turner came in and did a really good job defensively for us, but I just thought we were, you know, together as a unit, unit. and, um, you know, defensively to hold a team that shoots the ball so well and scores so um, well as uh, the Mystics are 74. It's a pretty good defensive effort. Nine assists for Dryan Drossi. Often people just think of her as a scorer. Can you talk about maybe underrated, if you will? It's hard to call anything about her game underrated, yeah. but can you talk about underrated aspects of her game? Well, look, when we won the championship in 2014, she had the most assists of anyone in the WNBA. So she's, a, she's the most complete offensive player I've ever seen. Um, you know, she got a lot of pressure out there tonight, but she certainly created uh, offense for her teammates and, you know, when we need to make a big shot or make the right decision, she always does. Um, yeah, that's what makes her so special, it what makes her the GOAT. What's really, uh, how have you guys been able to be so successful on the road this year? Yeah, it's funny, <laughs> we've actually played better on the road than we have at home, and but that's something that we have to get better at, at playing at home. You know, I suppose when you're on the road, it's, it's more about just you. You know, you can keep the team close together as a unit and we've got great people in there, number one, that want to win and that certainly helps my job easier. They can get themselves up to the game. Uh, they're very focused, they're very team oriented. Um, yeah, we have great energy. I wish I could explain it. Now we've just got to put the same kind of energy uh, on the road at home. We've been good at home but not as good as, maybe as consistent as we've been as on the road. Right, so now you guys seem to make them pay a lot in the second half. Or where they were sending the double from with the cross score pass. Was that something you guys focused on heading into the game or just an adjustment or just your players being savvy? And well, it's, Fiji sees a lot of different coverages and she sees a lot of people around her. And, you know, we want to get the ball to her. We thought that was an advantage for us tonight. And, um, and it's just her making good decisions, you know, just playing with a little bit of poise. Um, and we did that. We found the open, open player tonight and then, you know, made shots when we needed to. So Coach, you talked about working together as a union um, for your team. How do you feel about the concept of having a big three and how that's going around the league? Well, it, it helps. You know, the best teams have a big three, mm -hmm. really. Um, a big two and, but, you know, you can't have one. Mm -hmm. But two, you know, and three. But we've been consistently. Diana didn't score as many points as she usually mm -hmm. does, but she impacted us in so many other different ways. And, then, you know, Brittany and Dewana are playing as, as good of a, as I've seen. But, you know, to win games, it's just not three players. And, you know, we hang our hat of playing a team game, moving the ball. Uh, usually we get pretty high assists, and you see tonight we did too. Uh, we're just an unselfish basketball team, and we just play to whoever's open. Uh, Bonner's been kind of the X factor, pun intended. Um, can you talk about her amazing season? I mean, stat-wise, she's up with some of her best years. She is. Look, um, you know, it's amazing that she's coming back from having twins. You know, the babies are only one in July, early July, and, you know, she started off a little slow getting back into a conditioning, but She's been on fire, really, really on fire, but not just scoring, but offensively, at the, at defensively at the other end, just her length, using that, being able to switch, her rebounding, um, just making it be, make, make the tough plays. So, you know, I'm happy for her. She's one of my all-time favorite players. So she's a, she's a great, great person to coach, and she just plays hard. And like I said, I've got, I've got a lot of winners in there. It makes my job easier. You know, the story about Turner is amazing many players don't people don't know about it can you talk about how extra special it is i mean it doesn't matter who makes that big dagger shot at the end but isn't it a little bit special it is look i keep saying i love all my players but yeah i love her too um but look bonnie she kind of struggled a little bit in the start of the year wasn't getting in you know she wasn't playing as well as we knew that she could play and but she's really stepped up with you know she stepped into the starting lineup last night and having coming against new york where she didn't even play shows a lot about her her character is like she's staying ready, you know, she knows, and she knew what she needed to work on. We gave it real simple, let's, you know, take over from Bree, Bree was out last game, be the defensive stopper and let the game come to you. But she's a very capable offensive scorer. You see uh, European League overseas, she's usually the one or two in the top five in scoring. Um, she's an amazing, very versatile player and she's, 
look, she's been huge for us this last two games, which is great for us because we needed to get a little bit more from our depth and we're, we're getting that now. Are you worried about Long Sanchez's condition? We ha I haven't heard, so, you know, fingers crossed it's okay because, you know, both of them went down near the end too with the, uh, Camille had an ankle. So, you know, hopefully, hopefully it's okay because yeah. we need them.